Join me today as I make a fall themed doormat for the front porch on the dollhouse. Stay tuned and see how fun and easy it is to make. All right, we're starting a little different in making our doormat this month because my design is a little bit more detailed than the one last month. It's going to be needs to be a little neater. So we are going to start by sealing the felt with some matte Mod Podge. I found that helped me to get a better looking result on this as I'm trying to just get it um, get my details in and also it doesn't absorb nearly the amount of paint as it did without sealing it which of course makes sense and I don't know why I didn't think of it before so I'm going to put a nice fairly generous coat of Mod Podge on here and when this is dried I'll come back and we'll start adding our paint and our details all right, that seems to be dry now. So now we're going to put a color for our background for our design. And I'm actually going to mix these two. This is some white that I got from Plaid. And this is some brown called Woodsy Smoke that I had on hand already. I'm just going to use that to make the white so it's not a glaring bright white. I want kind of a tan beigey color, and I don't have that. So I will... I'm using quite a puddle of um, white and just a tiny bit of brown. I'm going to get a toothpick out and get this mixed together. And I will try to take a picture of some of this paint that I have mixed. So and put on the blog post, so hopefully you'll be able to see it, kind of what it looks like. But it is on my toothpick that I used. So let's hopefully I've mixed enough. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the color I want. I don't want it a bright, bright white, but I didn't want a yellow or a dark either. I want a fairly light background for this one. Um, and this is not soaking in like it did before. Before when I did some of these, I tried to achieve this color on another one that I did the other day. And it took me four or five coats of paint to get coverage. And that covered so nice in one coat. So I'm going to let this dry. And when this is dry, I'll come back and we'll start our design. All right, our paint is pretty dry now, so now we're going to start the decorating part of this. We're going to start by putting a pumpkin over in this corner, um, and we're going to freehand it. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm using, this is some paint I had on hand. This is on my stash. It's called Pumpkin by Anita's. This is not one of the ones that was sent to me. It's some I already had. I'm using one of the brushes that Plaid sent me. This is a number four filbert, and I really like this one for doing this kind of thing. It seems to work really well. I'm putting some paint up to the side of my tray, and I'm just going to, and I'm not an artist, okay? Don't, uh, don't think I am. <laughs> don't, don't have that illusion, because that's not the case. I'm just kind of painting this shape. Luckily, pumpkins are a pretty easy shape. And we're going to add details later. So now I'm going to fill this in. And this is one of the areas that I found. I want this a little more rounded. This is one of the areas I found just looks so much nicer when I started doing the Matte Mod Podge underneath the, all the paints. And I know this doesn't look like much yet, 
we're going to add some definition to it in our next step. So I'm trying to be very conscious of keeping this under camera and still having the camera as close as I possibly can. If I do wander up from under the camera though, please forgive me because this gives me literally like a three inch by three inch workspace. It's really small area that I'm trying to stay in and it's a challenge. Okay. Now one of my things I'm aiming for, I want the pumpkin to take up, I want to go about two thirds of the way up towards the top and just over halfway over and it doesn't have to be exactly shaped. So I'm going to let that paint dry and when that dries I'll come back and we'll do our next step. All right, that orange paint is not quite dry, but it's dry enough. Now we are going to, I pulled another bottle of paint out of my stash. This is Woodsy Smoke by Anita's. Another one of these really nice brushes that Plaid sent me. This one is a shader brush and it's a number two. I don't know exactly how you're supposed to use these brushes. I just know that they're working really well for me for doing what I'm trying to do on this project. So I need to put some of this, I find a clean spot on my tray. My, my tile is getting full of little blobs of paint all over it. So I'm going to use this brush. I'm going to start by just kind of outlining. And this is where you can kind of really make, define your shape. If you didn't get a a bump where you wanted it for your pumpkin, add it now. And the reason I'm doing this before that completely dries is that then it, it blends in a tiny bit when we go to put our lines on. It's not going to be a lot, but a little. Now, I'm going to go from here and we're just going to do that. And remember, it's just paint, so if you don't like what you did, paint over it. So that's all I'm going to do with that. I'm going to let this paint dry on. Oh, actually, I'm going to do one more thing. I want to kind of this go like this a little more. You'll see why in a little bit. So now I'm going to let this paint dry. When this is dry, I'll come back and we'll add the next detail. All right, well, next we're going to use this green. I've got leaf green from Ceramico. This was also in my stash of paint that I picked up oh, a couple of months ago. And I'm a little bit out of my tray. And this time I've just got another little brush. This is a number two shader. Um, with this, going to attempt to just do a little curly cue there and then I'm going to come out from behind my pumpkin and kind of give the hint of something that looks kind of like a leaf. Remember it doesn't have to be perfect. People are going to read that as a leaf even if it doesn't look exactly like one because it's what they expect. We'll put a little more. Another green blob there to be another leaf. And when that paints dry, we can finish this up. All right, so now we're going to do our final step on our doormat. And I've got this. This is a paint pen. It is a black fine tipped one. I believe I got this at Walmart, but I'm not completely positive. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start here and we're just going to draw a stem. And now I'm going to have to tip this and I'm going to try not to mess it up. The writing words is my very scariest part. If you've got better handwriting than I do, you can do something fancy with yours.
There you go. Happy fall. And now, as soon as that dries, it will be ready to put in front of the dollhouse door. I hope you enjoyed today's project. If you did, hit the like button. If you ha And leave me a comment. If you haven't subscribed and you enjoy my content, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I put up a new video. And Oh, and check the blog post. I'll have more detailed details about exactly what paint colors I used and all of that and the measurements for the, the mat. If you haven't found us on Facebook, that's usually the quickest way to get a hold of me. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.